Well, it's been a tough year for many pharmaceutical makers, but Abbott Labs is still one of the darlings of stock investors, thanks to some blockbuster drugs made by Abbott, including Humira for rheumatoid arthritis and the company's drug-eluting stent, Zyance. Now Abbott's got a new drug called Trilipix. They'll be cross-promoting with AstraZeneca. But a group of scientists is taking on Abbott, accusing the drug maker of creating what they call a bogus patent in India for HIV-AIDS medication. The patent allowing Abbott to monopolize the market and keeping the drug out of reach for millions of India's poorest HIV AIDS patients. So joining us tonight to make the case, healthcare attorney Tahir Amin. Mr. Amin, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So tell us about the drug, what it can do, and what it, you all are accusing Abbott of doing. Well, we have a situation where Abbott is about to patent for the 28th time the same HIV AIDS drug, which it started patenting in 1990. 1990 and has continued to patent every year a different form of it. Now this is a very critical uh, HIV drug for millions of people who are waiting for treatment and lower cost versions are now ready for it but if Abbott gets this patent it will be able to maintain its monopoly and keep it out of reach for millions who need it. Now you all have been joined in good company by some other people angry at Abbott Labs, President Clinton among them, former President Clinton who runs the AIDS Foundation where he's trying to get more medicine into people's hands but let me play Abbott's side for a moment because mm -hmm. all businesses will tell you that they've got to turn a profit, and if they're going to invest and do the research that it takes to develop these new drugs, if they don't see a profit, then they can't continue as a business. Why shouldn't Abbott benefit from patent protections just as every other business does? I mean, we believe in patent protection. We believe Abbott deserves a patent for finding the original compound. We believe Abbott deserves a patent for the subsequent uh, patent which developed uh, the drug so that it could get into the body. But we don't believe 28 patents later, 20 years later, that they're formulating the same drug in ways which have already been discussed in science, in literature, uh, which Abbott itself holds patents on previously and then just stapled the two uh, specifications together and then refiled it at the patent office. That is not a patenting. Yes, the question of investment in R&D and uh, uh, deserving to make profits is one thing. That's for real innovation. But to kind of say to the patent office, we deserve a 20-year monopoly again and be able to control the market for another 20 years for the same drug is basically against what the patent system is about and is abusing it. But what's in it for the patent office? They're not profiting from this, so they're simply following the rules. If the rules are broken, why not take it up with changing the way patents are issued rather than blaming Abbott? Well, that's exactly what we're doing. We're actually taking the case to the patent office to say, we believe scientific literature shows that this patent should not be granted this time. They should, and that's the reason why we are making this case, because numbers of consumers will not be able to access this drug if Abbott gets this patent. Just quickly, we've got a wrap, but uh, some other countries have taken measures. Brazil uh, ended the patent for this drug. There's price differentials all the way from $500 to $2,500 for it to be uh, given out. Why not uh, encourage India to simply abrogate the patent? Well, because firstly, we, the, the pricing that you've just talked about actually is a lot higher in some countries, like in, for example, El Salvador, it's 720% higher than the, uh, the GDP, and so patients can't afford it. Abbott is not actually lowering this price for a number of countries, and in India, we don't know what's going to happen, and why should they have that 20 years again when they shouldn't be rightfully having it? I mean, we talk about regulation in this current climate. We need more regulation in the patent office because companies are getting rich off it. Okay, it's an interesting case. We'll watch it as it develops. Thanks so much, Thank Mr. You. Amin, for coming in today.